Yeah, I've got to get goosebumps right now because I don't usually pop up anything uh, like this, but it just every angle that I could that you could possibly fail at, they've been there. Dion, congratulations to you, my friend. You are Agent of the Month for April 2024. So a huge congratulations to you. And I want to give some context to people. Like, like why did we kind of make this selection? So every month, you know, kind of the middle point of the month, we get together as an entire team. We say, who is the agent this month who demonstrated the core values um, to the highest degree and, and made the, the largest contributions to the overall community? And so the unanimous you know, vote was for Dion this month. And so that's why we're talking. And so, you know, a huge thumbs up and congratulations to you. And you closed $450,000 in the annuity business in April. But one of those prospects was actually a lead that came in over a year ago. But, you know, some other things that, that came up for us is, is really your constant contributions on partner office hours, sales coaching call. You're always attending those and really adding value to everybody there. Um, we always see you, you know, you're, you're constantly contributing in the community. Even if it's just a, hey, congratulations, that actually goes a long way. So thank you for all of that. I know that's meaningful for other agents as well. Another thing is is your use of app reviews. So for partners, that's a you know a service that we provide. And we found that that's actually so important to ensuring you know the quality of the app and, and actually getting that business closed in the right way. And so um, you know that's kind of all of the reasons that we've chosen you as the agent of the month. So overall, just just a huge congratulations and and and, and thank you. You may not even remember, um, but do you recall how how did you even hear about us about Juicebox? Uh, it was actually by chance. We actually are uh, the IMO that I was with uh, was going through a lot of changes and whatnot. And he mentioned uh, we were having some issues with weeds and it was just kind of in flux and we were just all over the place. And then he just happened to mention, hey, I have a particular rep that's in California and he's using this uh, platform called Juicebox. And right off the bat, we're like, oh, okay, let's see what's going on here. Name was already kind of intriguing. And then we get on a call, the first call we went in, unfortunately, wasn't the best call. It was a, a guy who's not only longer with the company, but then Steven was introduced. And then he uh, just really just had a, um, just such a positive uh, uh, feedback. And, and we were drawn in already myself. It's another partner here, his name is Brad. He actually is, uh, lives here in Las Vegas too. And we collaborate on a lot of things. And it's been very, very helpful uh, to have someone as a support system in him as well. But we both joined uh, Juicebox at the same time. And so that was an awesome transition. Yeah. Do you recall when you were coming in, you know, for most agents, it's the, you know, the answer to this question that I'm about to ask falls into the category of struggling to close business or not enough prospects to talk to or on this hamster wheel of, you know, final expense or mortgage protection. But do you remember when you came in, what was the biggest challenge that you were experiencing in your business at the time? Uh, it really honestly was the uh, quality of, of leads. Uh, you know, we had, I had kind of reached a pinnacle, I don't say pinnacle, but for me, had not been in the business for long. I was with a very good company that had super high uh, networked individuals, and then that source kind of ran dry. So it was one of those things we were just kind of searching what was the next lead, next step. And uh, like I said, the, the whole platform just seemed what we were looking for. So then what prompted you to join Juicebox at that time? Uh, like I said, it was uh, Steven. Uh, he really just brought such a positive attitude uh, to uh, the overall platform, the overall just community. And it just felt like, especially once myself and Brad got together, we're like, wow, we just kind of hit every point we needed it, you know, and we needed to get more experience just on just overall, just being able to make those calls and not being so, you know, people in my business, if they weren't calling us, we really weren't reaching out on a lot, but it was more of a warm lead. And this was uh, just being more proactive. And that's, I think that's where myself and Brad, we need to step out of our comfort zone and it's allowed us to do that. When you think about holistically, you know, what you see and what you get, you know, access to at Juicebox, can you speak to the tool that you find to be the most important. And so some examples can include like, you know, scripts and presentations and forecaster app reviews, um, you know, coaching calls, partner coaching calls. What do you think is the most important um, factor for you in closing business? Uh, and what I've seen most people, I have to agree, is usually the coaching calls and getting the, especially the uh, on partner hours, uh, being that a lot of people have some of the same 
things that they're struggling with are usually what, what I'm struggling with. Uh, you think you're the only one in the bubble, but once you talk to the community and you actually socialize, you see, oh, they have the same issues I have. So it just, it, it's just, uh, but you know, everything is, I hate to say it build up the same, but the, from having issues, like I'm not a huge IT guy. And so they'll come in and just within a few hours, just knock out uh, any kind of issues that I'm having. And if not, in the next 24 hours. So it's just been the overall community. And I'm kind of getting goosebumps right now because I don't usually pop up anything uh, like this, but it's just every angle that I could, that you could possibly fail at, they've been there. And if, you, I mean, if you're not having success, you have to just kind of maybe look back at maybe what you're not doing. And once you kind of have a self realization point or a self-reflection uh, you will realize oh, i'm missing that part okay let me let me reread the videos or 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 let me reach out to jim personally or whatever the case may be and uh just even on the calls for me and i hate to be long-winded but uh just even having a co-selling opportunity so they've been great because i've learned so much mike and uh, seth have been awesome so uh it's the overall that support i wasn't getting before that i'm getting now you know, what would you say to somebody? What advice would you give to somebody who's starting out right now? They're in, in they're starting with Juicebox. H how do you speed up that process for them? What do you say to that person who's just starting out? Uh, I would be, I would say, I have to be honest, uh, if I have to, that just being more committed just from the beginning. Uh, I have to be honest, I had one foot in, one foot out because I was still dealing with some, some uh, IMO, FMO issues. And so I was, trying to learn about it, really, didn't really know much about them. I knew it was a good financial opportunity, but I didn't understand holistically about helping people sometimes. It's a lot of what I was doing just felt like it was more financially based and more incentive based that way versus actually helping. And when I step off a call, so whether it is a $18,000 annuity, which I have one, or a $300,000 annuity, I did the same satisfaction. Different satisfaction on the monetary value, but helping individuals where I felt like was the biggest change and the uh the shift from what we were doing before it was about a year that i really bought in and started watching more of the videos because i kind of thought ah what else do i need to learn and, and then once you read the videos and re re uh like kind of uh, just go back into it you see you have a lot to learn it, it's so much it's such an evolution in the business as well that just dive in all the way go head head first you'll have much more success than i had in the beginning that i'm having to start now now because i really just went back and just uh, said, if I'm going to do this, then I got to do it all the way. So. What would you say to somebody, an agent out there who's considering working with Juicebox? They're on the fence, they're, they like it, they're not totally certain about it. What do you say to that person directly? Uh, you know, everyone has their choice, but I would say from my experience is just do it. Uh, it's a very, you know, like you got that added, uh, there's a million video that we watch and instead of just do it. But if this is something that you want to have, uh, you love helping people, uh, you have uh, a limited amount of help, a limited amount of support, then I, you know, and like I said, most agents and I've, but from the experience, from the, um, from all the videos and, and, and hearing other ones. And then we had the, uh, the sit down in Nashville not too long ago, which was huge, is that uh, you really have to uh, dig in. And if you're, you really are a go-getter and you are a person that it has that drive to not only just, I mean, not only just succeed and help people, this is, this is a perfect platform, this really is. Thank you for your time today. A huge congratulations to you. So, Thank so well-deserved. I appreciate it. We're going to see you at the next Grove. Yeah. Uh, congratulations. Thank you again. Um, and uh, talk soon, buddy. Thank you. Bye-bye.